All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel, Chicago Bears training camp. Now, guys, keep in mind, uh, pads won't be on until Friday, all right? But we heard so much good stuff today, man. Oh, my goodness. So much about Caleb Williams. Apparently, Caleb Williams just had his best day in training camp slash practice slash OTAs, whatever. Best day of the summer or since he's been drafted by the Chicago Bears apparently was today. Um, I want to get this video started by saying shout out to all the Bears reporters, journalists for giving us this information, giving us these clips, giving us these reports. They do a phenomenal job. But I want to start talking about Austin Booker because we heard this quote here. This is from the Bears defensive coordinator, Eric Washington. He said this, there's a lot of positives. I saw a lot of things I'm excited about his hand uses, his hand usage, his ability to counter Hands are huge on the defensive side of things, which we know. Um, Austin Booker, fifth round rookie out of Kansas. I mean, this is a guy who, you know, double digit pressures, obviously, double digit quarterback hits. He had almost 10 total sacks. Uh, I, Demarcus Walker yesterday said he was at 75% last season. Everybody was freaking out that the Chicago Bears didn't draft a edge rusher in, you know, the first round, or they didn't trade back in the first round to select one in the second. They didn't pick one up in free agency or a big name guy in free agency. I think it's going to be perfectly fine. I keep saying Austin Booker is going to be the starting edge rusher opposite of Montez Sweat by the end of the season, and I really think that's going to come to fruition. But I did want to throw that in there because I didn't hear, heard too much about Austin Booker until today. Uh, one quick thing, really quick. We'll talk about this in a second. Tyler Scott, <laughs> a name I keep seeing, you keep seeing. Uh, this is music to my ears because you're going to need him. The Bears are going to need him at some point, even if it's just for a half, even if it's for one game game if it's for one month tyler scott wide receiver number four book it uh he's gonna need to be ready to go this upcoming season and i keep seeing his name um all right we got one here from zach pearson jack sanborn jumped the route intended for gerald everett and almost had the interception a few plays later caleb williams hit a wide open tyler scott for about a 45 yard gain scott's Dumbled after securing the pass looked like busted coverage uh busted coverage or no busted coverage I like Justin Fields. I'm not even really trying to keep saying, or we don't say his name too much. I'm not trying to say Justin Fields' names because it brings up a lot of emotions for every Bears fan, rightfully so. I just think Tyler Scott having Caleb Williams, I, I just think there's going to be some level of consistency here. Tyler Scott had one of the more underwhelming rookie years last year on the Chicago Bears, especially. Uh, this is a wide receiver who you know, should have a role. I don't care that he's playing behind DJ Moore, Keenan Allen, and Roma Dunze. Once again, injuries are going to happen, especially with Keenan Allen having some injury concerns. Uh, Roma Dunze not having injury concerns, but just being a rookie. Uh, DJ Moore, like there's going to be one game where one of these three players is not present, or he's at least a little bit banged up. I think if we could say all three, you know, the top three wide receivers on the Chicago Bears, I think if we could say all three of them will be healthy for all 70 games, um, everyone would take that in a heartbeat. But unfortunately, that's not the reality of the National Football League. Tyler Scott had an underwhelming rookie season, and it looks like this training camp, he is getting his confidence going. He's improved vastly from last season. This is seriously music to my freaking ears because the Chicago Bears, in my opinion, even though Odunze has not played a snap, Caleb Williams has not played a snap, I think they've got the best wide receiver room in the NFL. And if Tyler Scott can be like a 500 yard receiver as wide receiver four, uh, well, in my opinion, they clearly would have the best wide receiver room in the NFL. Uh, we got another one here from Zach Pearson. Kyler Gordon and Keenan Allen were present but did not practice. Noah Sua as well. He did not see Mercedes Lewis out there today. A lot of vets got the day off. I uh, just wanted to throw that in there. Another one from Zach Pearson. Guys, the two-minute drill is becoming a thing. It's becoming an issue. It was an issue in OTAs. It's becoming an issue now. And I don't really mean an issue. Um, it's just been something that's highlighted as a weakness or a negative thing that Caleb Williams has been a part of with the Chicago Bears. So today, the Bears two-minute drill gets down to the six-yard line, down 21 to 17, but they can't find the end zone. Tyreek Stevenson had a PBU on a Dunze. Drive ended with Tremaine Edmonds breaking up a pass to Cole Komet in the end zone. So also no DJ Moore on that. Uh, Larry Borum was at left tackle, and Montez Sweat and Marcus Walker were not on the field for defense. So you know, it's July 23rd. They've barely been in camp. Pads aren't even on. Um, the red zone is where the money is made. Uh, it just every rookie, it feels like struggles with the red zone out of the gate, especially before you've even played a preseason game. Um, I 
am excited that they have DeAndre Swift. I'm excited they have Gerald Everett, and I'm especially excited they still have Colt Komet, um, who's emerging as one of the better tight ends in the NFL, especially pass catching wise. Caleb's going to need to rely on these two tight ends. He's going to need to rely on you know DeAndre Swift, Rashawn Johnson, Khalil Herbert, his legs as well to extend these plays uh, to get that ball into the end zone and not settle for field goals because you know, obviously you know don't want to be settling for a field goal once we get into the regular season. But I I am keeping an eye on it. Uh, but one important thing that we keep saying on every Bears video is Caleb Williams is going up against one of the best defenses in the NFL that nobody realizes the best scoring defense in the second half of the league last year. I mean, you're going up against one of the best cornerbacks in the league. You're going up against one of the best edge rushers in the league. You're going up against just literal young freaking hungry studs like Tyreek Stevenson. Also, I love that I keep hearing Tyreek Stevenson's names, whether it's interceptions, whether it's pass breakups, or just being a freaking beast, because that's what he was in his rookie season. He just gave up too many touchdowns. He gave up too many big time plays, uh, but he was a rookie. And Tyreek Stevenson, he was a ball hawk last year. He was a playmaker. He's a game changer. I just love what I am hearing. Uh, move forward. Caleb Williams was decisive today getting the ball out quick apparently he looked sharp uh, but as we know this was another light day pads don't come on till later this week uh, but according to 79th and house one of my favorite bears twitters caleb displayed what fans have wanted from the quarterback for decades so just to summarize what we saw on the day here i just kind of felt like it was caleb williams best day he was quick to get the ball out he was very decisive that's exactly what you want from your rookie freaking quarterback i uh, connected with tyler scott on a deep ball a veteran day for a lot of these guys uh, nearly picked off by jack sanborn and then also guys we're going to talk about the offensive line in just a second here the Bears have the day off tomorrow, so we probably will still post a Bears video because we do it every single day, um, but there will be no practice tomorrow, all right? Finally, uh, camp battle, I just, I don't really know where this spawned from. We haven't really gotten anything from the coaching staff. Coleman Shelton was the center with the first team today. Um, you picked up Ryan Bates, and you picked up Coleman Shelton from the Rams, but it was assumed to me all offseason that Ryan Bates was kind of like this secret weapon at the center position that the Chicago Bears picked up. The center position for the last two years with the Chicago Bears has been very, very subpar, very inconsistent. It's actually just been a disaster. Um, camp competition is good for everybody, but I am just you know hearing like that Ryan Bates and Coleman Shelton are splitting pretty much every other day, first team reps. This is really interesting to me. So um, I still think it's going to be Ryan Bates, but we're waiting to see how this camp battle develops, I guess. <laughs> That's it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hit that like button. Hit that sub button as always, and we will see you tomorrow. Keep in mind, Bears no practice tomorrow, but we will still post a video. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Hit that like button. Hit that sub button. Let me know who you're most excited about as we've been a couple days into training camp now. Have a great rest of your day. We'll see you.